vague Trust them. Let me show you the unedited version. Do not trust them. Small gesture. Hardly enough. I can offer them a wage, but what good is money without freedom? One day, it will come. Or you will make it. I know it. And in the meantime, what? I should congratulate myself while every day they face abuse or worse? The Templars will never allow slaves to be free. They keep even the rich in bondage. Though most people would never suspect. Gerald, if my father hadn't freed my mother... I'd be in the same predicament. But he did. I still owe them better.
Aveline. Gérald, he is back. Vasquez, the company man. Have any of your informants seen him? No. Aveline, since last week I have lost two of my men. Killed. Poison. <sighs> this is his work. I must find him. Perhaps he will attend the Capitan's ball this evening. Shall I confirm your attendance? Oui. Thank you, Gérald. And, um, Aveline, I... You will need someone to accompany you. I don't suppose... Gérald, are you asking to accompany me? Uh, well... Oui. For, um, blending purposes, I believe it would be best. Strictly business, of course. Of course. But not too strict, I hope. Revolution! <laughs> what a noble concept! Of course, war is always good for business. Particularly a war that's not in our territory. The good Spanish governor provides the goods. I relay them to my associates in the bayou. And they handle the... transfer. Completely bloodless. <laughs> for me! <laughs> <laughs> ah, Aveline. Lovely as ever. How does your father fare? Stubborn, as always. I look forward to seeing him on his feet so. You must allow me one dance, that I may showcase your grace in your father's stead. That is very kind, Monsieur de saint maxin And if you could perhaps waltz me by your esteemed associate in the blue cravat, I have a business opportunity I'd like to put before him. Evelyn, always so serious. Nothing like my daughter Marie Félicité. I should marry. <laughs> um, whichever of us is the best dancer. You would have me dance with all of you. I shall be exhausted. Please, senorita, allow me to save you the trouble. You need only dance with me. <laughs> Marie Felicité, I thought the Duce Maxon girls only had eyes for governors. Now, who is this? Senorita, give us your name. That we may know how to address the fairest woman at the ball. Fair? I think not. But still, your complexion is beguiling. Uh, please, senorita, allow me to complete your dance card. I'm afraid it's already full. That is simply her way. Have you heard? She prefers her father's warehouse to two parties. Never calls on any of us. And her complexion? <laughs> of she is a dear friend of the family, but her mother? It is shocking. Beneath the uniform, he is no true military man, I assure you. Twice, the recruiters have approached me, claiming to offer me promotion if I'll serve in his secret unit. But I don't trust it, no, senor. Good man. We could use more young men like you, with a head on their shoulders. Good evening, senorita. Uh, you look familiar. Uh, were you at the governor's dinner party last week? <laughs> I'm so sorry, I don't remember your name. Perfectly understandable for a man with such important affairs as yours, Capitan. Thank goodness for your service in the colony. The thanks is all mine, senorita. Will you allow me to express it with a dance? Why, certainly, Capitan. I should warn you to be careful, senorita. Even here at this delightful party, the danger is present. All soldiers are not what they appear. <laughs> we were just discussing a terrible man. How scandalous! Is he here tonight? He is, at this moment, seated at a secluded table 
Until the gavotte, Capitaine. I shall think of nothing else. I do believe the minuet is the next dance, Senor Vasquez. Si, si. Can we retire somewhere private to discuss it? Si, si. Lead the way. Company man. Company man? <laughs> no. You are mistaken. What? <laughs> Futile murder. And beautiful death. She will make you suffer. Madeleine! Aveline. I did not know you were attending. I came only to find you. How could you? A ball with your father on his deathbed. I... Save your words. It is too late. He is gone. Papa! No. I am so sorry, but you had to know with your circumstances that he could not leave you anything. Of course, my house remains open to you. I care not about his will, only that he has gone. His business is in my name, but I consider it yours. The law has no place between us. Mademoiselle Aveline, the overstuffed textile trade bursts with corruption. How unseemly. And the enemy is to blame? Yes. A single textiler, Monsieur Chaperon, keeps prices tightly knotted. I'll sew this up as quickly as possible. Quand tu 
J'ai besoin d'un verre. 